here we are in the wilds of Baja again. We got some water from all the rain. Here we go, a bit of a lake up ahead. Alright, keep up your momentum, don't slow down, don't stop. It's kind of slippy sloppy, slippy sloppy slippy. Woohoo! Alright, um, hmm, interesting to say the least. <laughs> kinda, yeah. If the super had made it through, we can make it through. Of course. Can you check it while you're driving? Alright, here we are in the wilds of Baja, as we always are. We've got to cross this raging river. <laughs> raging river. From the rain. The rains from the night before. That's not too long. Not at all. Very easy. Alright, well, totally undramatic. Alright, so we finally reached this water crossing. And I decided, well, I mean, I could easily make it through. It's probably only about knee deep, but. I'm going to cross it on foot, so here I go. I'm walking over across the, the raging river of whatever. I don't even know the name of it. Okay, well, there it is. Here we are in this little canyon in uh, Canyon de Guadalupe, uh, Valley of Guadalupe in uh, Baja. And this is the, the waterfall that we were coming to, but as you can see, even after the heavy rains of Thanksgiving 2019 and so on, there's absolutely very little water on it. This is, this is crazy. So no water, or well, not much, very little. So much for the waterfall. Well, there's some hot springs further up anyway. All right, so we had to cross this river. You can see they're still working on getting across. The little dog's like, oh, this is really intense. But yeah, so we get across and then here's the waterfall over here. There's a little pool at the bottom. And, and then there's not much water. We just had like really heavy rains for Thanksgiving, November. 2019, there was rain about a week or two ago. All we got is just this little few drips, not much, not much going on. Anyway, there it is. All right, so here we are along this little trail in um, Canyon Guadalupe, uh, Valley, Valle de Guadalupe in Baja, Northern Baja, and we come across this little natural hot spring. You can actually see there's bubbles of gas and there's you can even see some steam if you look carefully. There's a bit of steam coming off the water. It might be hard to see on the video. But yeah, and the uh, water is actually a little bit too hot. So if you put your hands in there, you get the... It's like, oh, it's pretty warm. There's even some thermophilic bacteria growing in, the, in there. That's pretty amazing. It's actually very hot. and It smells a little bit like sulfur too. All right, cool. Natural hot spring. Okay, so just... A little bit up the hill from the is where this uh, water, I guess, comes from. There's a, just water popping out of the ground here. You can put your finger in it, and it's pretty damn warm. Certainly not cold, like the river water we had to cross. All right, there you go. Little freaking natural hot spring. Cool, neat. All right, so I went a little bit further up the from the source of the thermal spring. And if you look in the water here, the water's actually not all that hot here. But you can see this strange thermophilic bacteria that occurs in these filaments like this. It's pretty bizarre. You don't see that very much, except in hot springs like this. And you can definitely smell the sulfur coming out of the ground. So yeah, it's pretty cool. So here we are in the hot springs in the Valley of Guadalupe. <laughs> and it's, it kind of smells like sulfur and it's definitely quite hot and as you can see there's bubbles coming out of the mm. water somewhere well they're there anyway but we're here a minute ago but yeah it smells a little sulfurous and so on what do you think of that ash warm water huh out in the wild it's like a hot bath in the wild huh hey ash <laughs> You can see the steam coming off over there. Come on, Snickers. Let's see if we can get the other dogs in. There's Belle. And there's Snickers, but they're they're reluctant to come in. Oh, we'll give them a try. 